Hi, it's Shadia here, and welcome back to my channel. Let's make baked potatoes. So I previously washed um, and scrubbed my potatoes. This one, I don't know if I want to use that one. It's green. What's that about? Okay, so I'm just going to take a fork and poke holes into potatoes. Yeah, this one looks good. Okay, pokey, 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 poke. Poke it. Okay, my fork has seen better days. <laughs> it's taken a worse beating than a potato is. Okay, so I have some hemp seed oil or hemp oil. Did I say hemp seed oil? No, hemp oil. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in my hand and massage each potatoes. Potato number two. Okay, so now I'm going to put both potatoes in the air crisp basket. But first, let me put some pink Himalayan salt on them. So that we can make the skin nice and crunchy. I'm just going to do this over a bowl so I don't make a mess all over the place. I sprinkle a little salt in my hand. And shower the potato. There's one into the basket. Now for the other, since there's salt in the bottom of the bowl, we're just going to roll it around and sprinkle a little bit more. There we go. And just try to get some more of that out of the bowl and put it in the basket with the other potato. And let's travel over to the Ninja Foodie. Okay, so now I'm going to place the basket with the potatoes in it into the foodie. And close the lid. And we're going to start the foodie on bake at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And make sure they're done on the inside. See you in 40. Okay, my potatoes are done. And I'm just gonna slice them in half. Ooh, they're nice and hot. Look at that smoke. Open it up and get a spoon and I'm just going to kind of chop it, scoop it and chop it at the same time with the spoon. I'm not going to add any salt this time. I think I've had enough salt for the day. And plus there's salt in my cheese sauce that I made the other day. That's, that'll be enough. You're going to just chop, chop, chop. Now I'm going to take my broccoli, my uh, fresh broccoli, and put about three to four on each potato. And now for my homemade cheese sauce. Mm. Now I actually was hoping that once I 
warmed it up in the foodie that the cheese would kind of like run down the side of the potato. Oh, that looks so good like that. But I think I made my cheese sauce a little thick this time. So it didn't do that, but the taste was definitely there. So next time I'll make it a little looser. Okay, so I'm just putting lots of cheese on top. I love cheese. All right. Okay, enough of that broccoli. Move over. We need the basket again. So back into the air fryer basket and let's take a trip over to the air fryer, the Ninja Foodie Fryer. And they are done. Like I said, they didn't, cheese did not run over the sides, but it was delicious. So I'm sprinkling some oregano. And now a little dab of basil. And dinner is ready. So if you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share. And I'll see you soon. Peace and love. Stay safe.